Good morning, welcome to the last times table test um, because I, uh, of the term, the half term, because next week I want to start our new format. Um, I've got some loads of you sending suggestions about what we can do instead of times tables. I'm definitely stealing one of your ideas and I've thought of another idea and we might actually do a double session. So two different skills to help us with our number recognition. So first of all, times tables for today are the sixes so you can go now if you want sixes we have got our sevens and finally we have got our twos so those are your times tables for this morning i'm gonna whack the lights on so you can see it a bit better off you go off you go morning rowan hi Hi Dora, welcome, hi. So six, sevens and twos. Hi Noah, hi. Hi Zaria, hello, hi Lucy. And those of you who are new to the timetable test, why? Is it set out like this? Why do I set it out? Well, number one, I can't do all the times tables all the way down the board, so I do it in two chunks and I mix it up. I don't start with one, two, three, like one, six, two, six, because that's just chanting. And sometimes you might be asked like, what's seven sixes? And you don't want to have to go through your times tables and it's sort of knowing it at a click of a finger. So five or oh, five sixes and you should be able to start recognizing that on its own without having to flow through the times table so that's why we do it in this mixed up version hi laura and james I am here, don't worry, I am here. It's obviously tricky to know how quick to do the times table, so I'm not going to rush you. What I'll do, I'll start with the sixes, so I'll go through the answers, and if you're still working on the sevens and the twos, keep focused, keep focused, keep going, and you can obviously mark it and check it. So six fives, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 24, Nine sixes, 54, seven sixes, 42, okay. And again, with something like nine sixes, if you know that 10 sixes are 60, take off the six and that'll help you remember it. One six, six, 12 sixes, 72, 11 sixes, 66, 
10 sixes, 60. Six threes, 18. Two sixes, 12. Sometimes you'll hear me, rather than saying six threes, I'll say three sixes. It's fine sometimes to switch them around because remember, it's the same answer. Sometimes you might, I, I do it automatically. So I'll say 10 sixes and then I'll say six threes and I don't know why I do it naturally, but it still gives you the same answer, okay? So there you go. Well, if you got them all right, don't worry if you've made a little mistake. Right, seven fives, 35, okay? Eight sevens, 56. Seven sixes, 42. See, I did then. I said seven sixes rather than six sevens. <laughs> Don't know what, I just did. Seven fours, 28. Nine sevens, 63. Seven sevens, 49. That's what we have so far. One seven, seven. 12 sevens, 84. 11 sevens, 77. 10 sevens, 70. Three sevens, 21, and two sevens of 40. So well done if you got those. Sevens, pretty tricky times table. And now we're on the home run with the twos. So five twos, 10, okay. Two eights, 16, oh eight twos are 16, okay. So 12, six twos are 12, four twos are eight. Two nines, 18. See, two nines rather than nine twos. I've done two nines. I think with the twos as well, because it's the second one in each time. So I tend to say two fives, two eights, even though it's the two times table. Like two sevens, 14. Seven twos, it sounds a bit weird for some reason because you're having to two, four, six, eight, or it's easier to just double the first number in the times table. See, one two is two. 12 twos, 24. Two twelves, 24, 22, 26, and four. So well done if you got them all right. Don't worry if you made a little mistake, as I said. So all good practice, you know that I make mistakes. So next week, this is what we're going to do. We're going to start with some number bonds. So I'll, what I'll do is throw the number bond at you. Not, not going to involve any writing. So we're going to start with number one to ten. So I'll say it, and you'll just, I know, I know you're not here, but you'll say it back to me. We'll start a bit slow, but then you'll see that I really pick up the pace. And then I think we'll try and do some factor work, because factors link really closely to our times tables. So we'll keep it in practice. And we'll try and vary it every few weeks. So I think we'll start with number one for the first few weeks, and then we'll change what our, like, skill topic is. Again, I'm not going to, it's not... It's not going to link in with the week's work. It's always going to be to do with helping your arithmetic and getting it a bit quicker. Anyway, enjoy your hopefully not too wet weekend and I'll see you next week for more Maths Live. Bye-bye.